When a woman gives you mixed signals, your best bet, your absolute best bet is to just back off. You want to do this because mixed signals imply a lack of certainty in her feelings towards you. Now, there's a lot more to it than just that. So let's cover exactly what to do when a woman gives you mixed signals in detail. What's going on guys? My name is Assam from DopeLifeCoaching.com and today I'm going to be talking about what to do when you're getting mixed signals from a woman. Now if it's your first time on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon to get notified whenever new videos just like this one come out. Also liking the video will help me a lot and I'd really appreciate that. Now earlier, I said if a woman is giving you mixed signals, the best thing you can do is just back off because she is not certain about her feelings towards you. Now, even though it's true, you first have to understand why it is the woman that you're interested in is giving you mixed signals. More likely than not, it's because she has mixed feelings towards you. The mixed feelings more than likely are directly related to something that you did. Sometimes it has absolutely nothing to do with you. It could be family problems, her dog died, an ex popped up back in the picture. But let's be more proactive and take accountability instead of being reactive and just merely reacting to what she does and what she says. So let's just assume that it is your fault because as of right now, you're still learning. So a woman will typically have mixed feelings towards you and send you mixed signals if you are not making her feel excited, emotionally comfortable, and feminine. More than likely, you're not making her feel any of these things. So obviously, the next question should be, how do I make her feel those things? Now again, as I said earlier, before anything, you have to back off. Backing off meaning no texts, no form of contact, no liking her posts on social media, no Snapchat, no nothing. Why? Because you are conditioning your mind to act in terms of abundance. And not just that, you're conditioning yourself to have enough self-respect to walk away from the things that don't serve you anymore. She's not acting like a girl who's really interested in you is supposed to act. So you're supposed to have enough courage and strength to back off from those things because those aren't what you really want. Now, after that, most likely when she notices your absence, she's more than likely going to text you. Again, she won't necessarily text you. And to be honest, if she doesn't, it just means you guys weren't even compatible anyways. But even if that doesn't even apply to you, it's best to learn this to be prepared for future women that you encounter. So when she eventually responds to you after a couple days or sometimes a couple weeks, she's most likely going to message you with, hey, or just how are you? Or sometimes, Hey stranger, or if she's very forward, she could tell you something like, Hey stranger, how are you? I miss you. I always like those types of texts. But when you respond to those texts, you don't want to respond in a reactive way. Rather, you want to respond in a way that indicates you are having fun somehow, or a message that implies growth, fun, adventure, or growth. I always like to use one of those three, or obviously what's best is using all of them. You want to indicate that your life without her didn't change. As a matter of fact, you may have even grown in some ways. You can say something along the lines of, I've been great. I'm so excited for what's to come. How are you doing? Or you can say, I've just been very busy planning out my next vacation, but I can't wait. And obviously you don't want to fake that one because you should only say that if it's true. Or you can say, it's been so busy, but it's been so fun. How are you doing? Now, those responses, they indicate a fun and relaxed, positive vibe. And obviously, a fun and relaxed, positive vibe is attractive. And because it's attractive, she's most likely going to want to know what exactly is going on. Now, when she does, just make sure you don't give too much detail away. Just give her enough just to be curious. But then the rest you want to talk about in person. This is a perfect tactic in person. So when she starts to ask, oh, what's exciting that's going on? Or where's the next fun adventure you're going? Or what it is that's so fun? You can go ahead and tell her just a little bit. 
Like for example, oh, there's this course about online marketing that I've been enrolled in and I'm learning a lot about. I just, I just can't wait to see what the future holds for me from that course. And then after just giving her a little bit and she wants you to tell her more, tell her this. I'd love to talk to you much more about it in person than over text because that's just gonna kill the mystery. And honestly, I'm also very busy. More than likely, she's going to respond positively and tell you something like, I'd love to see you. Now, when she does that, you set a definite date at a definite time and a definite place. And also, you wanna confirm the date. You're not gonna accept any bullshit maybes. Oh, like maybe I'll see, or oh, I'm just gonna have to confirm first with my girlfriends. No. If she gives you a maybe, you tell her, you know what? It's cool if you're not free this week, we'll plan some other time. And then more than likely when you say that, she's actually going to want to plan with you. Now, when you plan a definite date at a definite time and place, and you confirm it, you go and show up and you take the lead. But this time, it's different. It's different because you're taking the lead and showing initiative, and you're showing that there's something going on in your life, but also do this. In order to establish emotional familiarity, which we talked about earlier, you wanna take her over the course of the date to two to four different spots. They don't have to be extravagant. They don't have to be expensive. If you're broke, I understand, I've been there before. I usually recommend the first spot to be dinner or lunch, but nothing too expensive. A great example for that is like burritos, for example. Or if you guys both just ate, just go to this nice coffee shop or this nice donut shop. And you wanna make it far from generic. In other words, you don't wanna make it too basic, like something that everybody does. Because at the end of the day, you wanna be memorable. You don't wanna be basic. Now again, over the course of the date, you want it to be nice and fun. And after going to coffee or for burritos, you go to the next spot like ice cream or just walking in the city, walking with amazing views by the water, for example. And then after that, go to another spot after it. And then you see throughout this process, it's so powerful and so beautiful. The reason is that you're taking initiative and in showing that you're taking the lead, which is a masculine trait. And by the way, the more masculine you're being, the more feminine you're making her feel, which is always, always, always a plus. And on top of that, she's feeling more emotionally comfortable towards you because taking her on two to four different spots over the course of the date in her mind, it's like you're taking her on two to four different dates because you're making her feel emotionally comfortable or familiar. Keyword, feel, it's very important, the feeling aspect. And also guys, over the course of the date, make sure you let her do most of the talking. And not just that, ask her interesting questions. Don't just ask her, where'd you grow up? What's your favorite color? No, those are boring questions. You wanna ask leading questions and open-ended questions. Like for example, if you had $2 million right now, what would you do with it? Where would you go and why? This gets her talking. She can talk to you for minutes upon minutes about interesting stuff and the conversation can change from one topic to the other instead of just one worded interview based questions. Those are boring. Not just that, they're not comfortable. You wanna make her feel comfortable. And also when she's talking, make sure you listen to her actively and repeat back what she said. Don't just listen, but repeat back what she said to indicate that you're listening and be involved in the story. Be like, oh my God, that really happened? Tell me more, that's so interesting. And you're not being fake, you're just doing this because you wanna indicate interest. I assume you're actually interested in this girl because you're actually listening and you're taking her out on a date. And it's also very important over the course of the date to be looking her in the eye instead of looking away. You wanna show bravery and courage and also ending the date with a kiss is always the best way to end the date. Don't end it with a hug, end it with a kiss. That's the only way you're going to prove that you're actually romantically interested in her, interested in her not just as a friend. That's proof right there. And also, whenever you're crossing the street with her, hold her hand. That's a perfect excuse to hold her hand. And obviously holding hands also indicates romantic interest, not just platonic interest. And make sure whenever she is asking you questions about yourself, you respond with enthusiasm, positivity. Give her a response that you are a growth-minded person, a fun person. Talk about nostalgia from the past and just show so much enthusiasm in your responses. Now this way, if you've been following exactly what I've been talking about, you will have most likely been making her feel emotionally familiar, feminine, 
and excited. That's very far from being boring. Now, all you have to do from this point is to just back off a bit and respond to her when she does. Respond always with enthusiasm because then you're conditioning her to want to reach out to you more because every time she does, they're great feelings and responding with enthusiasm. And just set a definite date and then rinse, recycle, repeat. Go on more dates. Have more fun stuff to talk about. Do more fun things in your life. Take care of your life. Make your life a good life, a productive life. Be productive. Let her miss you. And then watch the magic that works after that. Trust me, man. I guarantee you, you won't regret it. So that pretty much covers everything, guys. What to do when she's been giving you mixed signals. Mixed signals are usually indicative of mixed feelings. And the best thing you can do at first is to back off. Afterwards, you want to give her the feelings of emotional familiarity or comfort. Feeling feminine and feeling excited towards you. Now you do this, you notice that it's going to work wonders for you because you've been coming off a completely different way than before and it's just very refreshing from her and it's going to make her feel really, really good. Now, if you found this video valuable in any way, guys, the quickest way to show your support is to like the video, subscribe down below and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever new videos just like this one come out. Also, comment down in the comment section below for future videos or ideas or collaborations that you'd like me to cover. And I'll be more than happy to respond or cover those ideas or collaborations. Now go out there and make great things happen, man. I have confidence in you. Peace.